Hello. Good night, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Today it was a very good day. It's a beautiful stressful. day. Awesome. No, it was a, a stressful day. A stressful. Why? If you remember, our traffic in our country is very difficult. Yes. Yes. Traffic is a nightmare here. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. What do you normally do when you're in a traffic? Do you listen to music? Do you practice? Do you call your friends? What do you do? In my personal, in my personal case, I listen to music. Listen to music. Yeah. Okay. That's a good thing that you can do while in traffic. <laughs> okay. That's good. Uh, sometimes I do the same. I listen to music, but then I start to feel like desperate. So I call somebody. I call anybody who's available. <laughs> I call my friends or uh, my husband. I call any person. So talk about anything to get away from the traffic, at least on my mind. <laughs> so that's it. All right. I hope that the rest of you have had a good day. I know that some of you had a difficult day, a stressful day, a busy day, but let's try to um, relax, do our best in the class, and well, we're almost done. Ya mañana es miércoles, es ombliguito de semana, so that's, that makes uh, some people feel happy. I feel happy once Wednesday. <laughs> All right, so vamos a empezar la clase. Ayer nos quedamos con lo de las WH questions you seem be going to. Vamos a practicar un poco más speaking, más pronunciación. Y pues vamos a empezar la clase con el video de la conversación y donde se nos explica la estructura de las WH questions. So let's begin. Let me share my screen. And this is. This is the video I want to share with you. Let's watch it and then we're going to practice. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation title have a good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that, we add 
going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that, we need to add going to. Then we have the verb get. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end there. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with be going to. I would like for you to make similar questions about the upcoming holidays in your country. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Ok, so vamos a ir por pasos. Lo primero sería la conversación. Entonces vamos a hacer los breakout rooms. Vamos a ver la conversación. Recuerden, está en la presentación. Está en, el, en su PowerPoint que les compartí hace unos tres días atrás. It's this one. Ok. Es basically the same. Es casi que lo mismo. Solo los dibujitos son un poco diferentes. Pero pues uh, creo que también tiene esta palabra la fancy que es like new world. So lo tienen ahí en su presentación y lo vamos a practicar el audio antes de mandarlos a los breakout rooms para que pues se sientan un poco más eh, seguros con la pronunciación. Entonces vamos a compartir esto, este material. Vamos a hacer la misma dinámica. Le voy a... Um, eh, quiero ver. Mm, con paciencia hay que uh, tratar de ir practicando, ¿verdad? Todos podemos hacerlo. Estamos eh, aprendiendo, así es que pues hay que tratar. Ok, listen, escuchar y luego repetir. Le voy a dar tiempito, eh, ¿verdad? Eh, para que pues primero escuchen, acuérdense como cuando eran bebés, ¿verdad? No podíamos hablar. ¿Qué hacen los bebés? Ni siquiera pueden leer. Solo escucha y repite lo mismo que ha escuchado, imitando. Así es como se aprende y se practica el inglés también. Primero escuchar y después repetir. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Todos pueden tratar de hacerlo. No, eh, como les repito, no es necesario que habiliten el micrófono. Eh, igual y hasta se pueden sentir mejor, más seguros, ¿verdad? Eh, y evitamos el ruido, el background noise. So, listen. Yo le voy a poner pausa después de cada interacción, como lo hemos hecho en ocasiones anteriores para que ustedes puedan repetir después de haber escuchado. Si hay alguna palabra que sientan que es muy difícil, la podemos practicar. Voy a hacer el mismo ejercicio dos veces y luego, pues, eh, si hay alguna pregunta o alguna palabra que se les haya dificultado, nos podemos enf enfocar en eso. Ok, let's do it. Page 75, Exercise 8, Conversation. Have a good Valentine's Day. Listen and practice. So, Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? I do. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to eat?
at Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. How fancy. She's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Okay, one more time. Page 75, Exercise 8, Conversation. Have a good Valentine's Day. Listen and practice. So, Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? I do. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to eat? At Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. <laughs> How fancy. She's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Okay, questions, preguntas. Ok, si no hay preguntas, entonces vamos a pasar a practicar en grupos. Recuerden que eh, esto es eh, para aprender, para practicar y pues sé que son un buen grupo. Y si alguien siente que se le dificulta, que no puede pronunciar, los compañeros yo estoy segura que van a estar dispuestos a ayudarle. Déjense ayudar y, y mantenerse siempre abierto a eso. Eso les va a ayudar mucho para que puedan lograr. Vamos a hacer los grupos y tratemos de aprovechar y practicar lo más que se pueda. Ok, there we go.
Okay, let's wait for the rest to finish. Todavía tengo gente en los breakout rooms. Okay, it's everybody again here. So the next thing that we're going to practice is the WH questions with be going to. Let's remember the formula. You remember the formula for the WH questions with going to? Okay, you have to Uh-huh, WH word. Verb to be. Plus, verb to be. Subject. Plus, subject. Going to. Mm -hmm. Plus, verb. Complement. Mm -hmm. And finally, question mark. Mm -hmm. Question mark. Okay, let's see. Um, Thinking about holidays and celebrations, uh, pensando en, en celebraciones, días especiales, ¿qué podríamos preguntar eh, con una WH, for example, where? Where are you going on vacation? Okay, where are you going? Okay, so Akimi, where are you going to go on vacations? Como pueden ver, ahí estamos siguiendo la estructura. Primero la WH word, where, luego el verb to be, en este caso sería are, el subject is you, going to, luego el verbo que sería go, y luego el complemento, on vacations, and then the question mark. Uh, one using what? Veamos una usando what? What time are you going to go to the beach? Mm -hmm. What time are you going to go to, go the, beach? to the beach? Okay, excellent. What time are you going to go to the beach? Are you? Oh, yeah, sorry. Según yo lo escribí. <laughs> Thank you. What time are you going to go to the beach? Mm -hmm. He's covered. Um, what are you going to do on vacation? Uh, what are you going to do on vacation? Yes. Yes, it's correct. Excellent. What are you going to do on vacation? Very good. Excellent. Es correcta. Teacher, is mm -hmm. correct. What are you going to do tomorrow? Excellent. That is correct. What are you going to do tomorrow? That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Las uh, dos eh, preguntas que me dieron las compañeras son correctas. Eh, muy bien y me alegra que han comprendido y usado bien la estructura como se deben de hacer WH questions usando be going to. Entonces les voy a uh, dar unos cuatro minutos para que hagan al menos dos WH questions eh, usando la estructura verdad que estamos viendo. Be going to. Y eh, sean preguntas que puedan hacerle a sus compañeros y compañeras. Escriban unas dos preguntas y dos, tres, las que les salgan en este tiempito. Son cuatro minutos y luego vamos a practicar esas preguntas, hacer un poco de speaking. En escribirlas en su cuadernito. Las pueden escribir en el chat igual para ver si están bien.
Ok, let's share your work. Vamos a ver, um, vamos a crear otra vez los grupos para que ustedes puedan practicar uh, haciendo las preguntas y respondiendo. Y así pues hacer un poco más de speaking. Vamos a crear nuevamente. Menos. Ok. Las que tengan, si solo hizo una, dos, tres, las que hayan hecho, that's ok. Hi. Hi. Hi, Manu. Hi. Hello, Kenny. Hello. We start. Hello. Lopez. Hola. Jair. Hello. 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 I'm going to Virginia. Uh, okay. okay. I can do the question to, to Kenny. When do you go into work? Um, I, I go to the work um, all days. <laughs> oh. Uh, on Monday to Saturday. On Monday to Saturday. Okay, thank you. Ahora ella que haga una pregunta. Okay. I am Laura, where are you going to visit your friends? Where? Yes, where? I am going to visit my friends in uh, in your no in their house. Okay. 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 Ahora yo. Um, Este, Christian, when, yes. when, when are you, when are you going to practice, practice on the field? Uh, on the, on the, okay. Field. Como cancha. Ah. When are you going to practice on the field? Uh. I going to practice um, on Monday. Okay. Ahora, <clears throat> otra o tiro la pregunta yo. Ahora usted hace la pregunta. Quiero ver quién falta. Ay, Ajir. Uh -huh. uh, where are you going to work tomorrow? Um, I'm going to work on I'm going to work on Telus. Come. I'm going to work on Telus. Telus. Okay. Telus is the company. Yeah, it's the site. Um, my my question for um, 
Mario. When are you going to have a vacation? Uh, to me, please yeah. repeat me. When are you going to have a vacation? Okay, I'm going to, to the beach or the visit to my parents. Okay. Next. Mario, you, you have a question. <laughs> you? <laughs> uh, okay, thank you. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm free. Dígame. <laughs> Diga, eh, yo comienzo. Mario. Hola. Mario, me tiene que... <ríe> ok. Eh... When do you have the vacation this, uh, this year? No. Uh, sí. When do you have the vacation? This year. Um, the pregunta en español, perdón que no. <laughs> no. Okay. ¿Cuándo tú tienes vacaciones este año? Oh, boy. I am going. Sí, verdad. Para repetir uno mismo, I going to. Um, I going to. I going to, verdad. Okay. I'm going to um, October uh, Te falta el verbo. Ah, okay, okay, el verbo. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going, going to, to going have, have I'm going to have sí, yeah. I'm going to have vacation on vacation in, the, in October. On October. In October. In October. On. On. Al, October. Remember uh, October first. <laughs> <laughs> Yo creo que sería in October porque si usamos on es cuando decimos el día en específico. Pero cuando solo hablamos del mes es in October. In October. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Teacher, is the correct is on October or in October? On. When is when only is. month? On October. Bueno, no se preguntemos. Yes, you can use on October. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, And in October as well. Both are correct. Con las, uh, con las preposiciones hay algunas que son, es, es bastante tricky um, porque hay algunas que son flexibles y se pueden usar ambas. So you can say in October o podemos decir on October and that's okay. Ambas están bien para si vamos a mencionar un mes. Mm -hmm. When is okay. date is on. Sí, cuando es Uh, en una fecha es on. Ahí sí ya only, no podemos. Only. only. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. For y con example, mes puede usar ambas, in o, o on. Pero cuando va a mencionar una fecha específica es on y luego menciona. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. You're welcome. ¿Qué, qué falta? Yo tengo que hacer la pregunta, ¿verdad? Yes. <risa> ¿Quién falta? <risa> eh, eh, Compañeros, ¿quién falta? Perdón. <risa> we start again. Ah, ya yeah, yeah. okay. Um, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. What are you going to do in, in vacation? 
Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to visit my my friends because um, the whole time I don't I don't look for I don't see that see him see him. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, do you have any question or, or to continue or regarding to this topic? Tienen alguna pregunta con el tema antes de que se nos termine el tiempo? Hicieron un buen trabajo, están usando bien la estructura. Aún siento que es como que se quedan que un poquito, solo contestan así como lo más inmediato, sin mucho detalle. Tienen que tratar de hablar más. Imagínense vacaciones. En un día de vacación podemos hacer muchas cosas. Eh, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? I'm going to, eh, dijo Jair, I'm going to visit my friend. Ahora, ¿qué va a hacer con su amigo? We are going to order a pizza. Probablemente ordenen una pizza. Uh, we are going to play video games and we are going to watch movies, etc. So you can practice more. Tienen que ir soltándose más. Es poco a poco. De guías. Traten de dar más um, información. De... No vi el tiempo, me quedé hablando sola, pero sí, es, es de ir soltándose poco a poco, dando poquito más de información. Si le preguntan, what are you going to do on vacations? Les decía, en un día puede hacer muchas cosas, en un día de vacación. You can say, we're, um, I'm going to meet my friends. We're going to have dinner together. We're going to uh, talk about different topics. We're going to watch a movie together. Pueden hacer muchas cosas. So the idea is to practice and practice more speaking. Um, vamos a continuar eh, siempre con el tema de las WH questions. Practicar el punto gramatical que era el que estamos viendo ahorita. WH questions would be going to. Eh, tienen este ejercicio en la presentación también en donde está el punto gramatical que es lo que vieron en la plataforma. Aquí les uh, puse un recorte también de la estructura, lo que se vio ahí. Eh, si han impreso el material, excelente, pueden trabajar ahí. Si no, pueden hacerlo en su cuaderno. Completar estas conversaciones con la forma correcta de be going to. Luego vamos a chequear. Y si nos queda tiempo, pues vamos a seguir eh, con el vocabulario de eh, Holidays. So, les voy a dar unos cuatro minutos para que completen este ejercicio. Leer, completar con la forma correcta del Bitcoin to Lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno. Y tienen cuatro minutitos. This is the, the exercise uh, from the platform, right? Yes, maybe you have it here. Probably mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Okay.
Okay, let's check. We start. Uh, we are. Where are you going to spend summer vacation? Oscar, can you continue my points? Teacher, my connection is unstable. I can hear you so clear. Okay, no I worries. Hear... Uh, I'm breaking off. Me escucha como si me estoy cortando. I'm breaking off. All right. So, um, let's see. Jasmine, can you continue? My parents and I. Byron. My parents and I. Okay, my parents and I going to visit my grandpa. Okay, solo no escuche el verbo to be. My parents and I. And I am. Um. Mm. Seguro que sería am. Um? I don't are. Are, ajá, porque somos mis papás y yo, o sea, son nosotros. My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Very good, Byron. Um, Byron, select someone to continue. Uh, Bridget. Okay, Bridget. Who? Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have a question. Uh, where... What is the meaning spend? Spend. Um, ¿Dónde vas a pasar? El, el spend se usa cuando es eh, pasar, por ejemplo, tiempo. Tiene que ver con pasar el tiempo o gastar. Puede ser gastar también dinero. Spend money. Mm -hmm. En este tiempo es como pasar el tiempo. ¿Dónde vas a pasar o ¿Dónde vas a gastar tus vacaciones? ¿Verdad? Podría ser como otra forma de traducirlo. Pero en ese es como, ¿dónde vas a pasar tus vacaciones okay. de verano? Uh -huh. okay. Uh, okay, you're welcome. Bridget. Who are you going to... We are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Thank you so much, Bridget. That's correct. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Very good, Bridget. Select someone to continue. Fatima. Okay, thank you, Fatima. I am going to ask my family and some good friends. Excellent, Fatima. Select someone else. Elsie. Okay. <laughs> okay, I am ready. What are you going to do for Halloween? Very good. Excellent, Elsie. Select somebody okay. else. Okay. Uh, I choose Araceli. I don't know. I am not going to to do anything special. Excellent, Araceli. Select someone to continue. Kenny. Okay, Kenny. How are your parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? Eve. Eve. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you so much. Who continues? Seleccione a alguien para que continúe, por favor. Henry. Okay. Mm. Uh, what are you... They? Going to... Do for... Do for... He did I. Espérame, mm. espérame. By el anterior what? fue, how are your parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? Ah, okay, perdón. Eh, <laughs> no yeah, they, they, are you? 
They are you. They are you. No. No, eh, perdón. Eh, ah, porque ya está el sujeto ahí, es they. Entonces no necesitamos el you. Sería el are. Ajá, they are. They are good. Going. Going to. Going to. Go. Go. Uh -huh. uh, go. Eh, Diary, diary, no sé si se dice así. To their, ajá, to their neighbor's party. Ajá, thank you so much. Eh, seleccione a alguien para que continúe, por favor. Eh, Yair. Compañero Yair. Ok, Yair. Hola, eh. What is your sister going to do for her birthday? Thank you so much, Jair. Select someone to continue with the last one. The last one, Araceli. Okay, Araceli. Mm. You are in mute. <sighs> Okay, sorry. Her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. Okay, well done. Excellent. You did a very nice job. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta respecto a este ejercicio. No questions? No question, teacher. Okay, vamos con eh, vocabulario que se puede hacer en este para celebrar ocasiones especiales vamos a ver el video y a ver qué es lo que podemos hacer con ese vocabulario discussion forums Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day Father's Day Graduation Wedding Anniversary Send cards Give presents Take pictures Sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food, wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, this is what we have here. The special occasions, we have Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, and anniversary. Activities, send cards, give presents, take pictures, sing song, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food, and wear special clothes. Ahí podemos agregar más cosas, ¿verdad? Y podemos ir chequeando que de estas actividades haríamos cada de, día de estos, okay? So, for example, for Mother's Day, you can say, I'm going to send 
cards to my mother and grandmother. I'm going to give them presents and I'm going to take pictures. We are going to sing songs y hacer, ir formando como párrafos um, para que vayan eh, practicando este vocabulario. Dudas o preguntas, alguna palabra nueva acá. No question. Ok. Eh, con, el, eh, con la del grupo de WhatsApp, tienen ahí, Mario, hay un link, hay un enlace que se les mandaron eh, para que ustedes se puedan unir. Mm, no tengo acceso, no, no estoy como administradora del grupo para poderlos unir. Se unen usando el enlace que dice WhatsApp Group. Es el que les mandaron a su correo con todos los enlaces. Eh, ¿Tienen alguna duda o pregunta hasta acá? ¿No? No, Entonces, eh, tenemos el último video que son las eh, cosas que se hacen, comidas especiales, tal vez para la buena suerte, costumbres, tradiciones, siempre hablando de ocasiones especiales. Y con eso se termina la sección 1. En esta ocasión, pues se habla de los cumpleaños, tradiciones. Vamos a escuchar. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Joly, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Muy bien, y con eso pues completamos la sección 1. Recuerden que tienen que ir adelante eh, ya avanzando con la sección 2 también con los ejercicios. Los que son evaluados son los que dicen knowledge check. Se identifican porque tienen un lapicito por ahí. Y cualquier duda o pregunta respecto a los ejercicios la pueden hacer en el grupo de WhatsApp o a mí directamente para poderles ayudar. Lo importante es que avancen y mañana estaríamos empezando la sección 2. ¿Dudas o preguntas? No, teacher. No. Ok, so thank you so much for joining. I'm not, you're tired. Go and sleep well. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you Bye. Thank you for See you tomorrow. Thank you, Good night. Good night.